This is Code.org. Let's see what we have here. So I'm working on this MindEase app. All right. Look at the elements on the app screen to get a sense of where the user inputs information. All right. Let's hit run here. So rate the stress level. Oh, your stress level. I'm making a video. I'm doing code. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. So it's definitely a one. Rate your happiness. I actually love this stuff. 10. So, you know, we're coding. Everyone's happy, right? Right. 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 Um, how much time do you have? Uh, I don't know. Oh, sure. 11. Suggest activities. Oh, but it didn't. I bet that's what we have to do. All right. So what's user input? All of these clicky things, and by that, I mean the mid-use we click, is input. This button is technically input too, right? You don't have to be typing. Input is any feedback or any, well, input you're providing an application, and that's our input areas. Look through lines 1 through 7, see all the variables that will be used in this program. Think about which one will be directly updated. Stress, I bet that's this. Happiness, likely that. Uh, time, that, right? Happiness level, hmm. Happiness and happiness level, interesting. Maybe that's some equation we're doing. I don't know. We'll find out. Get the needed user values and assign them to the appropriate variables. Use X and get number to assign the user input for their stress level to the variable stress like equals stress drop down. Show me where. Uh, these are helpful if you want to get a little bit of a clue right here. So I want to talk about the why, right? So this is what we need, but why? Because if we don't know why, you won't be able to do it on your own. So let's do the, you know, why. So what? No, whoops. No, keep working. The why. Let's hit design here. Stress drop down. Now, if I hover over this, or I can even click on it, notice it has an ID. The ID is stress drop down. So when we do code like this, we're telling the computer, hey, you fancy computer, also just known as computer, we want you, and here's my milestone one, I'm going to drop it here, to get the content of stress drop down and assign it to our variable stress. So I'm going to write stress, and then what's that going to be equal to? Get number. And then the ID of our item, and like we said, the ID of our item is stress dropdown, so it knows to grab that number. Test your code. So to test, they're asking us to do some debug stuff, so I can hit run here, and I'm just going to add our stress. And all this does is let us view the uh, value of this while we're running the program. So I'm going to do like three. And notice it doesn't get set, so this is kind of weird. It doesn't get set unless we hit suggest activities, and that input is setting our value. So that is looking good. And for, follow the same pattern for happiness and time. All right, so happiness, milestone two, uh, right here. I guess we need all three. So I'm going to get show to text just to be a bit faster with this, and I'm just going to kind of copy and paste this. Whoop. Be careful, though, if you mess this up, which I do all the time, everything breaks. It gets really confusing. Um, so don't be like Mr. Uh, Kaiser, I guess. That's the only time I've ever said that. <laughs> uh, not true. All right. And minutes. So time drop down. Notice we're using the drop down for each. And now let me make sure I have the right values. I think it's just happiness and time. I bet happiness level is something else. Boom. And time. And that is all looking good. Again, guys, make sure you test. So. Because it is so much better, so, 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 so much better to catch your errors through testing right away rather than 19 steps later, not sure what's going on or what broke and having to sort through so much more code. So it looks like all of mine are working. We're good to go. Uh, yes, onward.